Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is a video editorial for this problem. It's not for problem. This is the 14th lecture of this number theory series. Uh, in this lecture, we are going to see how we can calculate the total number of divisor from the prime factorization of a given number. So the problem statement is: we are given, uh, we have to calculate the total number of prime, uh, total number of divisor from prime factorization of a given number. So suppose the number was 300, its prime factorization is 2 raised to the power 2 multiplied with 3 raised to the power 1 multiplied with 5 raised to the power 2. The total number of divisors of it of the number 300 are 18. So the problem doesn't seem that much interesting and uh, the first thing that comes in our mind is that okay I can take the number and find the total number of divisors in square root of n time because that we have studied already. So why do we need to study this? Well, there is a very thought out problem, oh sorry, very thought out uh, excuse. So let's take a look at this motivation problem. Suppose we are given only the prime factorization of the number, not the whole number. And then you have to find the total number of uh, divisors. So uh, if you have prime factorization of a number, for example, I've given you uh, 2, 2 and 3, 5. 2, 2 means 2 raised to power 2 and 3, 5 means 3 raised to power 5. So the number would be 2 raised to power 2 into 3 raised to power 5. Yeah, so you can construct the number and find the total number of devices. But it says printed modulo tens to power 9 plus 7. Uh, the most common cause why tens to power 9 plus 7 modulo is used is to uh, counter the um, integer overflow which means that the number the result is going to be too large that integer uh, integer data type won't be able to handle it or won't be able to store it so of course the total number of devices are going to be huge so will you be able to apply square root n approach and find all the devices suppose this is the uh, this is the input of this problem three means there are three primes uh, and each pair is of the form p raised to power x p is the prime number and, and this is raised to power this much so uh, if if i had to give input for number 12 i would give uh, 2 2 which means 2 raised to power 2 multiplied with 3 1 which is 3 raised to power 1 so this is the number the number is 2 raised to power 1000 multiplied with 3 raised to power 1500 multiplied with 13 raised to power a million so do you think you can create the number the whole number out of it and find the divisor in square root of n time the answer is no even if you are able to uh, apply somehow square root n you are 100 percent sure that okay square root of n won't uh, result in tle but is there any data structure that can hold this big number remember 2 raised to power 60 uh, 64 itself is so big that uh, 2 raised to power 65 is so big that even the long long in data structure which is 64 bit mm -hmm. uh 64 bit data structure won't be able to uh store it so how a data structure is going to store a number which is 2 raised to power 1000 only but here the overall number is much much larger so there's no way you can construct the whole number and then you can find the total number of devices of it there must be other way around there must be another algorithm there must be other way to calculate the total number of devices of number from its prime factorization of course well the result is very easy suppose we are given a number whose prime factorization is p p1 raised to power y1 p2 raised to the power y2 p3 raised to the power y3 dash 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 pn raised to the power yn when all the pi's here are prime numbers and yi's are their respective powers so the total number of divisors of such number is equals to y1 uh, y1 plus 1 multiplied with y2 plus 1 multiplied with y3 plus 1 dash 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 multiplied with yn plus 1 so if there are k number of primes then you can calculate the result the number of devices in big o of k time it is linear in k the number of primes if you take an example of 300 again we knew uh, the prime factorization was 2 raised to power 2 multiplied with 3 raised to power 1 multiplied with 5 raised to power 2. So the total number of devices would be 2 plus 1 which is the first power into 
1 plus 1 which is again the second power and again 2 because it was the third power so the total number of devices would be 9 into 2 which is 18. So the, uh, the question is why this approach works. We have seen that okay the approach is very simple all you have to do is take power of each prime prime factor and then add one it one into it and multiply with the already existing result initialize result with one of course the question is why this would work well i will explain with a simple example and you can extend or generalize this let's take example of the same number again and this time let's take three boxes three boxes because we are having three prime divisors of n one box for each prime number uh, first box is for two second box is for three third box is for five now what uh, now uh, what these boxes represent you would uh, understand with an example so in first box i have inserted one and then zero in the second one and two in the third one this you can consider this box you can consider as a divisor generator so what this number represent is actually this number one means two raised to the power one because the first box represent two that is why one means two raised to the power one and this actually represents their power this three this represents three raised to the power zero and three raised to the power zero is actually one and 2 which means 5 raised to the power 2 so 2 raised to the power 1 which is 2 3 raised to the power 0 which is 1 5 raised to the power 2 which is 25 so the overall result is 50 as you see 50 actually divides 300 so this is a divisor that is why I'm calling this box a divisor generator now uh, suppose instead of 2 I filled here 3 will the resultant number also divide 20, uh, 300 the number would be 2 raised to the power 1 into 3 raised to the power 0 into 5 raised to the power 3 the resultant number won't be able to divide n reason this which represents 5 raised to the power 3 won't be able to divide uh, this number won't be completely divisible by that because uh, in the original number n we are having maximum power of 5 as 2 so if a new number is having more than two a uh, factor of five or more than two power of five then the original number n won't be divisible by that suppose i'm dividing n with five raised to power one the whole number would be divisible by that because five raised to power uh, in in the prime factorization of n we are having five raised to power two and five raised to power two would be divisible by five raised to power one of course so this would be divisible so if you fill at this place at f uh, at the place of five any number which is greater than two which means if you divide uh, you try to derive a divisor in which uh, power of five is more than two then the resultant number won't be able to divide n this is not only for 5 but also for the uh, every single prime so if the power of prime in the original number is x then at the corresponding box you can't fill more than x so you can fill at this point up to 2 at this point up to 1 at this point up to 2 so first place can be filled in three ways three ways because you can fill 0 1 2 second place can be filled in two ways because 0 and 1 third place again can be filled in three ways 0 1 and 2 so the total number of permutation or sorry total number of combination would be 3 into 2 into 3 which is 18 and that is why uh, the total number of divisors are alpha uh, y1 plus 1 which is of course 3 into y2 plus 1 and y3 plus 1 that is why the formula works and the total number the total number of combination would be uh, all would uh, all will be unique that is why the total number of devices follow the formula that we have studied you can generalize this and you can google for the more concrete proof this was just to make you uh, make you see and believe why this formula actually works 
once you have something clear in mind then even the, when you would go for uh, studying the proof of it you would be able to understand it more clearly that is why i usually take examples to explain you because it, it it is important for you to at least have a clear idea why this works and then you should go for the proof so this was all for this lecture and thank you guys for watching till the next video drops keep coding thank you